Briefings and salutations, vault dwellers out there in the wasteland. We're right by Lakeside Cabins, and we're going to talk about workshops today. Yeah, I know it's long overdue. It it, it it it's about that time that we actually give a good workshop review. You know, just just because workshops are amazing. What makes workshops amazing, you might ask? Well, just watch. This, this is the first part of a workshop that you have to actually conquer before you can actually get anywhere. Um, this is a wonderful workshop. I, this, this was one of the workshops that I really loved uh, playing this game overall. There is, there is a lot of room to fight here. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely, yes. But uh, wait, where in the world... Are they dead? No, they're not even dead. Oh, by the way, you can uh, activate the workshop by uh, pressing whatever it is to do your build menu. But see, there is an enemy nearby, and I do not know where he is. Oh, is this him? It is. Workshops give you caps whenever you clear them, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking for some free caps, go and clear a workshop and that is actually one of the things that would actually just give you some free caps. You know, give you something to do, give you some EXP, and this, that, and the other thing. Other things that workshops basically allow you to do, and uh, what, naturally, you, you, you gotta capture it, right? You gotta capture it. Um, and when you capture the workshop, it, it becomes a buildable area, like a little base. Now, one thing that has really kept me from building a lot of a lot of workshops here in in the past is the fact that well sometimes you just can't invest your resources into a workshop um because you might not have a, a lot of time to play or uh, various things like that um so i don't really like to build up workshops but i love it when workshops are built up whenever when i get there because i will utilize them um and basically what makes you know that a true statement is the fact that workshops are amazing as they give you what is it resources so these little resources are great you got a silver mine right here of course you have got to put some some actual electricity to it i mean that's a given right but uh it, it Oh, look, lead, lead right there. Now I know that there is is is, is a few more. There, oh, there's crystal right here, which is great if you need to, uh, you know, uh, do a lot of work with energy weapons and stuff like that. Uh, that's one of the main things. And one of the coolest ones here is probably the the wood extractor. And then boom, uh, get these things powered up and next thing you know you, you are extracting resources from a little little place so if you're having plans on playing for a few hours um it definitely worth it i i honestly believe it's definitely worth it to go ahead and set all this stuff up i'm going to go ahead and fast forward time just a little bit so i can set up this and we're, we're gonna see some more uh, spectacular perks of this wonderful workshop the lakeside cabins everybody this is an amazing workshop. I love this one so much. Okay, let's go. Oh, looks like I forgot one very important part. And another perk of owning a, a nice little workshop is the defense events. That's right. Uh, defense events are absolutely fantastically amazing. And oh, geez. Oh, God. They, I, they're closer than I thought they they were. That. Ooh, get get wrecked! Oh my word! And uh, it's a lot of XP, really. It depends really what you're fighting. Um, in some cases, you'll fight some really high-level things, uh, depending on what workshop you go to. There's different kinds of uh, different mobs at each workshop, but this one tends the, the lakeside cabins. It tends to spawn a lot of robots, some some sparrows, sometimes some scorched, sometimes some scorched. Uh, and uh, and uh, mutants. It's, it's a lot of fun, and I don't know how many waves we got. I turned off the, the actual quest, but they'll come and try to break your stuff. So you you, you kind of gotta 
I gotta destroy them. Um, but it's actually pretty cool to actually go ahead and, uh, you know, do your defense events. It's a, it is a ton of fun. Uh, I guess I could go ahead and let you know what I'm actually doing uh, while we're while we're hanging out, chilling. Oh wow, look, it's it's a uh, radiation storm time. All right, uh, see, we got this thing up and running, and uh, you know, various sources of energy uh, to to power these things. Uh, you know, you gotta kind of. Take into consideration there could be like defense events and you don't want uh you know things to destroy your your stuff so it, you gotta kind of understand what you would actually want to put down what would be the most efficient what would be the what you know protects it the most now these are just like i throw them down but of course you could go even deeper and actually make protection for most of the things going on. Oh, 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 oh. Looks like there's no protection here. And we, we just we just got started. And this is the first defense event that we've, we've gone through. So there will be more. So you have a lot of time to set up a good workshop. Oh, what we got going on here? Uh, of course, I was trying to see if I could get this fusion generator to power this one with a bunch of extra cords. And see, that's not even half, half of what needs to be done. There needs to be so much done for this workshop. But of course, we gotta sit here and do our nice little defense event. Oh, so much fun. These defense events are so much fun and you get rewarded, such as you get plans. Believe it or not, yes, 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 you get plans. You get uh, you get pretty good plans whenever you actually do the defense events and all, all the stuff uh, when it comes down to workshops. I don't really know what the drop rates are on most of the things. I just know you get them. So, but I know you get all sorts. It's 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 quite quite amazing. And I think there are a few like rare ones you get as well. So, yeah, workshops are very nice. They're very very out outstandingly in uh, yeah. So so yeah, ooh, this is this is this is rather nice. A nice little rad storm, and uh, right now we're still producing. You know, the raw crystal. I think you have to refine that, right? Oh. Oh no. It's like a whole bunch of robots. They're they're out here and trying to kill me. All right, there we go. I think, I think that's about it. I think next time they come around. We're going to be a lot more well prepared. Oh, there's so many. Oh, oh that one's really rough. Uh, wait, hold on, let's go with this. this is, we're going to do some of this. A little bit more damage. Handmaids are nice. I love a good handmaid. Of course, I, you, you know what? These things are going to go away soon anyway. Might as well, might as well enjoy it while, 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 while it lasts. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that EXP. There's so much EXP, and we got our first defense event. What did we get? Come on, tell me. I'm so excited. I want to know. I want to know what we get. Come on, come on. Do I get uh, item reward stim pack? Oh, I needed stim packs. Wooden shack doors and six more stim packs. Oh my God! I I don't need to ask people for stim packs. I, I, I just got some! This is a good day! It's a good day. Let's do some more building! That, that means... I'll be right back. We fast forwarded a little bit. I took a little bit of damage. <laughs> Let's see what we... Alright, so... So, I, I got the electricity run in and everything's hunky-dory and it looks like it's time to start picking up some of our stuff. We've been here for a little bit. Now, I think we actually got a little bit of uh, something going on. Something something had happened. And uh, it, it kind of sucks. But, to keep that from happening, we have guns all over the place. Now, I went ahead and went with some of the lowest level guns. Uh, the, the, I think this is the, the second tier of gun, right? It's it's the it's the, uh, the heavy machine gun turret. Now, Enclave polished, of course. Uh, I don't know if if it if it really matters, but uh, these things don't take electricity, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I have twenty of them, and they're all well. They're actually facing all kind of outside. Um, I know 
that uh, if you get some certain uh, ex external threats, then they come inside your workshop. Um, well, th things do tend to happen, but uh, to keep to keep them out, uh, it, it's 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 kind of nice to to know that we can. I think this is my weakest area right here. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, oh wait, <laughs> no, we actually got a little bit of turrets up here. Uh, it, it's kind of nice to have some turrets just hanging by, uh, providing a little bit of Overwatch inside some of the, the actual uh, workshop. And I think that that's okay. This is a really uh, fly-by-night kind of kind of area for the mobs. They uh, sometimes they pack over here. Sometimes they they pack over there. Of course, we haven't seen the back yet. So let's run on over there. And it seems that we have a lot of, I think it's a good field of fire. I have a face in, out like this, so maybe they can like turn and and do all their all their sorts of things. But I don't know if it really even matters at this point. Um, and we've got a nice good field of fire here. So who knows, they might actually shoot at, 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 at it, things that have gotten through the barrier or whatnot. So we got that going on for us. Oh, did, did I forget? Did I forget? It's lead scrap. Did I forget to pick all the, all, all the goodies up? I sure did. All right, let's see. Um, we're running, 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 running. Oh yeah, wood scraps too. Now it is also very important, and this this is where we get into the sponsors side of the show. But actually, we don't really have. Oh, what the hell? We don't really have a sponsor. Uh, but uh, you know, if if we did, if you know, Bethesda was nice to us and decided to give us some money. Uh, which they won't. But uh, Fallout first, everybody. Fallout first. It's, it's very important. Jeez. Are we... Did I really just trap this entire room? Alright, listen. Listen. Fallout first. It, it, it's, it's a thing. It's right here. You, you put all, all your goodies. See? Uh, say, say if something bad was to happen. Like, what, like all the, the mobs that come in, they actually kill me. And I drop my bag and I disconnect from the server. I'd lose all this, you know, but uh, not not anymore. I just s s scrap it right there and just get it out of my inventory just in case something bad happens, you know. Like it, it's it, it's a thing. So yeah, we got this thing pretty much rigged for uh, uh, rigged. It, it, this is a nice little room full full full, full, of, full of nice rigging. Oh jeez. Maybe we should put a new door on that. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. But, I mean, I'm, pre I'm pretty happy and satisfied with this. I could probably go and do some adventures and and uh, go go collect some stuff and then, then come back. And then next thing you know, I'm, I have all sorts of things. Now, if you want to be unfriendly, you can always go ahead and put a lock on these things because... For some reason, the, the NPCs in this game, they don't know how to uh, uh, lockpick, so, uh, and, and they like to come and pilfer your stuff, so you, you want to keep that from happening, but just put a level zero lock on it, it, it everything would be fine, as long as there's a lock on it, every, yeah, like, things, things are great, I don't, all right, more, more buttons, now here is one of the best, most special things that happens in, in a workshop, um, that you can do for resources um you know uh let's see let's go to the resources now you know how you can only like put like a few of these things in your camp well now you can you, for every single workshop no doubt it's crazy just every single workshop you can you can uh you, you can help support all the puppies and uh you can throw this this bad boy down and i guess it gives you resources and stuff like that over time I think what was it? Oh, oh, oh yeah, you just you get, you just wait for them to go and get stuff, and that that that's not all. There 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 is I guess what uh, this I, I guess this doesn't really work, but uh, let's see over here. Oh, we got a coffee machine. Where where can we put the coffee machine? It doesn't require energy. Um, let's see. We could probably put the coffee machine right on the work thing. There, there we go. We can. We can Put that right there. Isn't that pretty special? And then we can have some honey, and uh, what's well, a morbid well? Oh, that thing collects the stuff, so we can definitely put this down. And see, now you not only have this at your camp, but you also have it right here. 
I don't have any corn, but you know, the sky's the limit if you got the, the right stuff. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you can go get some razor grain over at another workshop called uh, Billings Homestead. Absolutely. Fan diddly tastic. And uh, also, you know, you can always put extra traps on the on, on on your roofs and stuff like that, just in case there's any scorch beast or anything. Um, just uh, you know, just gotta gotta do it. Got it's it, it it's great. Workshops are great. Now I could probably build my own camp in here, you know, like just uh, it, just for the, the entire server. But like the servers usually last for a couple of days, so someone uh, it, it, whenever I log out, somebody's gonna be able to come in and be like. Ah, this is a great little workshop. I'm just gonna keep it around. I'm gonna get all the resources. So you're not only, you know, passing it forward. Um, you know, you're you're gaining the uh, benefits of having all sorts of goodies. And uh, oh yeah, don't forget, you got, you got level, level zero locks. You don't want those mobs coming in and getting these any of these. You know, just, I don't even think. Oh, you can even lock the Slocum Joes. Oh, that, oh, I kind of, I kind of feel bad for whoever, whoever uh, walks through this workshop and, you know, they're like not the owner, you know, those people do exist, but they're very rare in this game. Uh, a lot of people don't like to walk into other people's workshops um, too often and, and pick people's stuff. It's just, you know, it's, it's just unheard of. Like, I, I, have, I haven't seen anything like that ever. Like ever, never, ever, ever, ever. All right, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a, a quick little breaky break, and we're gonna wait until the next defense event. Ah, oh, hello there. How are you doing this fine day, lovely sir? Pretty nice little workshop we got here, right? <laughs> oh wow. Oh, we have our first visitor, our first guest here is Haladar. He has come to inspect our workshop. What a wonderful guy! Look at this, this wonderful person. This wonderful, wonderful, wonderful person. Oh, mind your step up here. There, there is, there is danger, sir. Absolute danger. Ow, I, I, I kind of just hurt myself just a little bit, but it's okay. Oh well, it looks like there's so much we're, we're, there's so much stuff here. This is absolutely just the amaze. I, I have I have worked really hard, um, just making sure in between this defense event that's coming up. There is a defense event that is literally coming up here pretty soon, and we're waiting for it. But while I was waiting, I decided to decorate this wonderful workshop. There's there there's even like basic necessities is it's absolutely a wonderful look we even got a functional hot tub that's right no longer do we have to sit here at the lakeside cabins without a functional hot tub i'm excited and we got extra little defenses of blood eagle posts oh yeah these things are pretty cool and we even got a communist bunker that's that's absolutely i haven't actually put the the roofs on yet but or, or whatever the things are I, I put, uh, the doors yeah the doors I haven't put the doors on yet but uh, we're, we are just hanging around looking at this wonderful wonderful workshop I'm, I'm like deeply ex excitement I'm full of excitement this is absolutely amazing I think, I think it, no 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 I, th I think if we go through here we, we will we will be absolutely fine there we go and Let's go ahead and stash our junk just in case something weird happens. Uh, 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 uh. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to make that. Oh no, no, oh, oh no, this is, this is dangerous, danger, danger. Okay, okay, I think. No, let me in there. Let me in there. Let, let me in. I'm freaking out, man. Freaking out. But yeah, this is actually really pretty cool. Whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you little, you little rascal. Because <laughs> it's trying to get me to step on it. I don't want to step on that. But yeah, here, here, here we are. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful workshop. Uh, absolutely. And by the way, I know I, I rag on uh, prefabs all the time. Uh, being at your camp. 
But prefabs are more of a workshop item, believe it or not, um, because they're really easy to replace. They look pretty cool, and you can put a freaking ton of them, like a literal ton of them, on a workshop uh, rather than your camp. It's actually quite fantastic. I, I love every second of this. This is pretty amazing. I... I I like it. Do, do you like it? How do you think it's pretty cool? It's a thumbs up all around. Rate, rate my workshop, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, seems like we got a little bit of action coming out uh, down our way. It looks like it's a random, random stupid mutant to punch. Trying to invade. Is it is it a defensive? No, I don't even think it's a defensive. It's a, it just it came came running through. There's a random pack. How about that? You don't see that every day. But yeah, fantastic bit of defense work. Let's uh let's go ahead and check the actual theme of Bob to see if we have to repair anything. Repair all. Oh, I gotta repair a little bit. Oh, I got some canned coffee. How about that? Now I've been I've been adding a few trees. You sure this isn't a defensive bit? This is rather odd. It's like like they're cut. The, oh, it was a defensive end the entire time. Wow, that was easy. That was really too easy. Oh wait, we get rewards. More stem packs. We got some purified water. Yeah. I might sell it and buy some stem packs. Um, yeah! It's the camp you can trust. It's, workshops are truly just amazing things. You can get a, a good amount of XP, a good amount of stem packs, a good amount of pretty much anything you need. It's, and just imagine, you don't have to just hold lakeside cabins. You can, you can hold other ones too. But I like this one the best because it's good for the the lead, the silver. The, what was this one? Uh, yeah, more silver. What was it? this one's lead and wood? Oh yeah, and the crystal. You get all the goodies, all, all, all the goodies like this. And not to mention, you know, we also have the whole. What do you call it? Uh, mm, 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 uh, uh, brain fart. Brain fart. But look at all these pretty trees. That's right. I care about the environment, okay? I like to plant trees. So sue me, I guess. Well, don't sue me. Plant trees with me. That would be, that would be actually be a lot better, huh? And but we still got even more little things. And you know, you can get get all your resources. There's so many resources to be to be had. Owning a wonderful workshop like Lakeside Cabins, and uh, don't forget that. Uh, there's there's odds are with pvp being the way that it is I, 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 i'm not even gonna lie you could probably be safe to build up a workshop before someone comes um because there's not really much pvp left in the game anymore so build to your heart's content on workshops it's It's amazing. There's so much you can do. It you can so much you can show off. You can you can definitely show off a good workshop build, and people will people will appreciate it. I'm pretty sure of it. If people I appreciate I appreciate it. I know I do. I I, I I love going to people's camps and rating them. Just imagine if I was to go to your workshop and rate uh, uh, rate your workshop as well so go out there and make the best workshop that you possibly can and who knows i might come and visit you like share and subscribe for more content and build a workshop just do it bye everybody have a wonderful wonderful day but of course if you want to really see the finished product let's let's go ahead and take a, a oof oof nice little look so we we have added quite a lot of stuff to this workshop so if you're like just walking around it's it's gonna be oh my gosh <laughs> we've added tall grass trees all sorts of things this place looks absolutely amazing 
There's so much to this place. Oh my god. You got this rube right here. It's a shame this all goes away uh, when, when, when they wipe the servers. But, I mean, it's going to be around for at least a little while. You know? So, someone's gonna bow, someone's bound to enjoy it. If not, we'll just enjoy it right now. This is absolutely just insane crazy how crazy this is. And, yeah, wow, just all sorts of things. It's really hard to even get a bead on, on anything within the workshop. So, it adds a little extra flavor to it. I didn't really do too much in here, but... You got a lot of goodies. Just look, look, it is absolutely just wild. This is just wild. This is, this is pretty cool. There's so much going on. And from a bird's eye view, you got, uh, it's, it, 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 it's very, very, very concealed. Everything's very concealed. It's, it's quite absolutely crazy. Just imagine if you could play hide and seek in this place. You know, yeah, that's what a workshop should be. A big giant hide and go seek. You know? It, it's fantastic. I I absolutely just dig this. This is really good. We didn't do too much over here, but you know, you gotta have a little bit of a clear area every, every so often, you know? But who knows? I mean, there's still a lot. Of, I mean, look at this. We still got a lot more stuff we can build. It's it's kind kind of just absolutely just crazy, it, but it's 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 so much fun. And we still get these resources. I know, I know. It's it's kind of crazy. You just go around wasting resources, but to get more resources. But it looks so good. It's so good, and it's gonna it's it's gonna be it's so much fun during the defense events because you're like really gotta try to find them. So it, it adds more fun to to whatever you've just been doing. It's just my opinion. I could be wrong. <laughs> All right, for realsies this time. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe.